Russian volunteers fighting on the side of Ukraine against the regime of dictator Vladimir Putin have refrained from participating in the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. This could have been a chance for them to reunite with their homeland. As Le Monde writes, the general staff of the Ukrainian army decided not to allow Russian rebels to participate in Kiev's most daring operation in two and a half years. Politician Ilya Ponomarev, who leads the Freedom of Russia Legion and Denis Kapustin, Rex, the commander of the Russian Volunteer Corps, confirmed that their units had been excluded from the force that invaded Kursk. The two men also confirmed a far more sensitive piece of information that has become an open secret in Kyiv in recent weeks, but which no official will comment on publicly. The general staff has excluded the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, which coordinates Russian rebels and conducts its own operations in enemy territory from the Kursk operation, or at least from its initial assault phase. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine and Russian fighters were excluded from the operation, but not for military reasons. It was more for personal reasons. The commander of the Ukrainian army, General Oleksandr Sirsky, who has a certain rivalry with the head of military intelligence, General Kirill Budinov, wanted his moment of glory to be successful, said a source close to the rebel movements. Russian rebels who have been involved in various incursions into Russia since their first raid in March 2023 in the Bryansk region and then a larger operation in June 2023 in the Belgorod region are trying not to show too much disappointment at their absence from the Kursk region. If Kyiv wished, we could govern these territories in Russia. Our movement includes former local officials, including from the Kursk region, who could govern an alternative local government to the Kremlin. Ponomarev said. He claims that this option is being discussed in Kyiv. The more militarily active far-right activist group Russian Volunteer Corps admitted that the Kursk operation was unexpected for them. It was unexpected and we were not invited to participate, although we would have liked to. On our part, we are preparing other assaults, other surprises, Kapustin said. However, the leaders of the two Russian rebel groups did not hide their admiration for the success of the Ukrainian military in Russia, an operation that exceeded all expectations and had a comforting result. Ukraine launched a record number of drone attack across 14 Russian regions with over 100 drones on the night leading to September 1st. More than 100 UAVs attacked the Moscow, Tver, Tula, Belgorod, Lipetsk, Voronezh, Kursk and Bryansk regions of Russia. In the Tver region, fire broke out near the local state district power station and near the Konakovo gas distribution network, which is a part of the KGMO Konakovo gas pipeline. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, 158 aircraft-type drones were either intercepted or shot down. This is not the first case of large-scale Ukrainian drone attack on Russian territory. On August 14, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced the destruction of 117 drones over eight regions across the country. Вот ёбнули. Блять. Вот ещё один. Вот он. Вот ещё один. Где-то вроде в той стороне.